Welcome aboard the Reisnack Walsenhausen Mountain Railroad in Northeast Switzerland. If you see the star or hear the ding, look towards the rear of the train. This is a map of the railway. We'll be traveling from Walsenhausen to Reisnack. Now for a bit of history of the line. The Drotselbahn Gesellschaft Reisnack Walsenhausen Company started construction of the line in 1895. The line then opened on June 27, 1896. It was originally a funicular railway and only went to the bottom of the mountain. Then, in 1958, a rack system was installed and the line was extended to the Reisnack station. Here is a picture where you can see the valley below. As you can see, the track is quite steep at a 25% grade. We will now be crossing the Hoftable Bridge. This is one of two bridges on the line. This is a side view of the train on the bridge. Notice the steep angle of the line. We are now entering the last of the tunnels on the line and we will come out at the bottom of the mountain. Here at the bottom, the rack is disengaged as it is not needed for the rest of the trip to the station. The rack system looks like this. A cog on the bottom of the car engages with the rack to help climb and descend steep grades. The train on the running right is the S-Bahn commuter rail headed towards St. Margetten. The train you have been riding in is the line's only vehicle. It is a four-wheeled rail car, the B-Day 1 half, which was specifically built for this railway. It is powered by an overhead line. The catenary in the top of the car conducts a 600 volt DC on the line which powers the engine. We are now approaching the station at Reisnet. The station has connections to the Swiss Federal Railway and the Lake Constance Ferry. The bus station is on the other side of the A1 motorway providing connections.